Hello and welcome to the West Midlands Regional Cybercrime Unit YouTube channel. Today marks the next part in our Cyber Essentials series where we're explaining secure settings. So if you haven't seen our previous secure settings video, go back and check that one out and look at our playlist to see the previous Cyber Essentials topics that we've covered. So just to recap, so computers and network devices are not always secure in their default configurations. So standard out the box configurations often include one or more weak points like an administrative account with a default password, unnecessary user accounts, pre-installed unnecessary applications and services. So last week we demonstrated how to create a strong password as well as how to remove unnecessary user accounts. So the requirements for the technical control theme that we've got for this week are remove or disable unnecessary software. So this includes applications, system utilities, and then network services. Disable any auto run features, which allow for file execution without user authorization, such as when they are downloaded from the internet. And authenticate users before allowing internet-based access to commercially or personally sensitive data, or data which is critical to the running of the organization. So the risks we're going to highlight in this video are unnecessary software and services and auto run feature. So with the unnecessary software and services, you've got a lot of vulnerabilities. So a lot of kind of computer break-ins are as a result of attackers taking advantage of security vulnerabilities in programs. So the more programs you've got running, the more opportunities an attacker might have to get inside and cause damage to your system. Also, having less kind of unnecessary software and stuff, that is also going to increase the performance of your device just because there's less stuff running at once. So the auto run feature. So the auto run feature basically allows for programs from external devices to run as soon as they're plugged in to the, the system. And malware can exploit this and spread viruses throughout your system. So I'm just going to give you a quick little demonstration of how to remove apps how to disable services, how to disable and configure auto run, and that would be you through settings and through the control panel. Right, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to remove an app or program. So hit your start bar and just type in control panel, search for that. There you are. So programs, then programs and features. And here is going to show you a list of all the programs you've got installed. So the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to install uninstall core temp. It's not a malicious file, but it's just it's unnecessary. So it's another vulnerability. So just click it, hit uninstall. Are you sure? Yes. 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 So that has been successfully uninstalled. So the next thing we're going to show you how to do is how to disable a service. So just type in services and you've got the services app just here. So click that and this shows you all the services you've got running and or otherwise within the system. So I'm going to use Bluetooth for this example. So just double click it and here you start up type. So automatic that's going to start up as soon as the system turns on basically. So you can disable it through that. You can also stop it from running, which it is right now. So that's now stopped and you could disable it and then you just choose whichever setting you want and then just hit apply and then OK. So that's now disabled. We can see that there. So I'm just going to turn it back on. So start up, we're going to whack it on automatic, apply and then just hit start again as well. So it's running. And then OK. Now I'm just going to show you how to disable and how auto run works. So again, into control panel, control panel we go. So just type in control panel, click that. So the easiest way I found to find it is just to change the view by to small icons. And then you can see that it says auto play just there. So this has got a bit more control than doing it through settings. So you can turn it on and off through there. 
you can select how you want it, how you want the the um, USB to open. So here it's open folder to view files. It's just going to open it and you can see what's in there. But what you can do is just get it to do nothing. You can get it to configure the storage settings. The autoplay isn't as much of a big issue as it was in legacy systems, just because on those you would plug the USB in and it could it would run some of the files that were in there, which could be it can potentially launch malicious software on your on your device, which obviously you don't want. Um, so they've patched a lot of that now, but this you still it's important to know how to control it, and you can choose what to do with each type of media. So videos you can get it to play, just automatically play which was again one of the problem with the legacy stuff they would they would just install malware on, on a on a cd or whatever and then it, they'd play it through the windows media player and then that was it going to launch the malware and spread viruses throughout the system so it's, it's just important to understand these things so you can make your changes and then just hit save so you can do you can do it a similar there's pretty much the same stuff through the settings menu. So you just hit settings, then devices, autoplay, and you've got similar, not quite as many features, but similar. So you can turn it on and off. You can select what you want to do with it. For more information on secure settings, please visit the NCSC website and then the Cyber Essentials website. If you're interested in the Cyber Essentials scheme for your business and would like to find out more, please visit the Cyber Essentials website. Also, this video makes use of the latest NCSC and Cyber Essentials guidance at the time of recording. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to the WM Regional Cybercrime Unit YouTube channel. That way you can keep up with our future videos. And also, if you haven't watched them already, please check out the rest of our Cyber Essentials playlist.